clap it up for Paul. He's in the building, y'all. Let's go. Right, how's everybody doing tonight? All right. All right. Before I get Talk about started. the secret societies too. Yeah. What's it called? Um, I'm dropping uh, my my sophomore album tomorrow. Uh, I'm having an album release party in the Bronx. It's free, free food. You know what I'm saying? We got some crazy features and whatnot. If if you're interested in that, um, just see me after. I'll give you the information. So, uh, I'm gonna do two new pieces. Hopefully, I, I memorize them. But uh, I'm gonna get into it. <clears throat> Growing up, you would have thought that baseball was our favorite sport. Because my best friends had a few strikes against them. Everyone was pitching, and the stick-up kids tried to catch it coming home slipping. So shit wasn't safe, even though the fiends were on base. We had faith, just not like you used to, but around here it's the usual. They couldn't care less about how we live, and little homie once told me the gun was his religion. It makes sense. Since it's always court and never church when they call it for a witness. But we're forced to live this way so we won't pray for forgiveness. We ain't asked for none of this. I was once told life was a punishment. The answer was lost but I swear that I found it. I now see that some get high so they can fly. Forget that they're grounded. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. And help them understand that my flaws make me who I am. I think with my heart when I speak my mind so at times... My emotions get the best of me. And when they do, I hope you don't think less of me because I mean what I say and I say what I think is right. I've always been that way. A young JFK, they tell me to be careful and at times I feel like I really order because NYC could be my daily plaza. But see, I toss caution to the wind to block the orphans for the wind because life ain't always what it seems. We've been living a nicotine dream. I'm scared to turn my heart black. I've always been a little different. I was told the eyes are windows, although mine are tinted, and my soul is vintage. The world rests at the base of my neck, burden weighing heavy on my chest, and it don't feel right, because broken dreams don't heal right. Regardless, I still write, because words are the weapons I use as protection from the demons. Yeah, I've seen them in my own eyes. I was once a victim of my own lies, but I'm thankful, because some died and were victims their whole lives. We live in an age of deceit. Beware of the lessons they teach. We're born with our consciousness open. Sadly, we're conditioned to close it. But see, I'm claustrophobic. I gave my mind space and succeeded for that mind state because ignorance is malignant and I refuse to let that tumor grow. Although, I used to live in that place within my mind. I took a trip back, afraid of what I might find because it's been so long since I've been home. I was out throwing stones. I blacked out. And forgot I once lived in a glass house. See, for so long I was zoned out, but I realized it was I that shattered my own house. Because I realized these structures are no more than false and fragile systems of belief that bind us, confine us, don't allow us, don't allow us to grow. I learned to live life like water and just allow it to flow. See, the search for knowledge and understanding is infinite. But see, what beliefs do is deceive you. And through that deceit, you falsely believe that journey is complete. See, as I stood among the shards of broken pieces, I realized people build walls around their beliefs, afraid to have them stand out. But these ain't stones. These are gems that I told such a glass house. Hey. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do another one. Uh... <clears throat> if life's a drug, then come get high with me. I know at times it's in shambles, but it's a gamble. Let's live it like the lottery. I took a look in the mirror and told the devil, don't you lie to me. I was born a peasant, trying to lead in the present. But see, it's my past is trying to follow me. But to me, it's all the same. I'm hardly ashamed. So I let it tag along. Because I, cause the pain from the past is merely a present. I, merely a lesson I carry in the present. Cause I've learned without experience, it's seldom you'll go far. So after each wound heals, I welcome every scar. I know most try to leave it behind, and I know how you're feeling. But see, scars aren't memories of the pain. They're a reminder of the healing. And knowledge itself is a suture for my future. I'm a little rough around the edges, yet I'm seamless. Sort of like an angel that was raised around them demons. Darkness in my heart. 
but always had a halo right above me. I come from the saints, but them sinners seem to love me. I was once told we can never be fully free as long as we're here, but the closest you can get is living with no fear. Listen close, I need you to hear this. My only fear is being fearless. And I don't know what that says for my quality of life, but if the masses think it's wrong, then it probably is right. See, we can't blame the Masons for the problems we're facing. We're the reason we ain't free. That's word to the third degree. And Jesus died at 33. I guess that means the good die young. How ironic, because the hood die young. That's the way it's set up. I'm fed up. They're playing God, but they're no more than wizards of Oz. Pay no attention to the men behind the curtain, because most of the power they possess relies on the energy you invest. They say in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Check the back of a dollar, but you probably still don't see a thing. You got a brain, but you're only using half that. We made some strides, but racism is still alive. Why you think the president is only half black? See, if, third, if your third eye is blurry, no need to worry. Just listen when I say shit is LASIK. I saw God on the corner of 125th and St. Nick. But he wasn't making a claim, but simply begging for change. More like he was pleading for. I stared in his face as he was leaning forward, and I almost didn't recognize him because I mistook the wisdom in his eyes for pain. Although at times they could be one and the same. He spoke before I passed him by. He said, sun in his eye. And I want you to know that they can't see with the sun in their eye. You shine. So when you embark upon those in the dark, you enlighten. But you also frighten. Acting alone, you cannot change the world in which you live, but merely the circle in which you exist. You have attempted to carry a weight you are not meant to bear and assume a sole responsibility for something that was meant to be shared. You see, I see the world different. And sometimes, I wish that I didn't. It's like most people's lives get in the way of them living. We fight so hard to survive, but no one ever gets out of this alive. So just to accept what your fate is and live every moment with greatness. Trying to keep us from our true potentials with the planets. My heart resides in Atlantis. Trying to tell my people that true bliss exists beyond the ego. See, the best way to conceal something is to hide it in plain sight. The knowledge you seek resides in your own mind. So never mind the Bible you preach, it's either to me. Ain't concerned with the word you got. The creator lives in me, so everything I speak is the word of God. It's revelation in these statements. And I know comparing yourself to God is cliche, but if I died, I bet you I rise in three days. Or at least a movement on my life. Or at least a movement on my behalf. But my people, let's keep it peaceful. Because war is nothing more than an aborted fetus in the womb of the mother beneath us. They ought to know we ought to grow. See, my plea for evolution is out of destitution. Please don't commence the shooting. Because love can spark a revolution. Thank you. <laughs>